It's so painful. <sighs> seeing my face my name is Desiree Garces and I'm about to become your favorite youtuber if you're a returning subscriber a regular regular a day one thank you so much for stopping back by um, you guys might have seen sorry for the noise the kids are still playing outside isn't it seven o'clock I don't know usually seven o'clock the security chases them back home because they make a lot of noise but anyways, don't mind that because I have to leave my glass door open because it is hot in the coast right now. It's so hot. So, yeah. Um, you guys basically saw me going to Food Lovers. I just wanted to get a few things. I wanted to show you guys, but I already packed them away. But it was literally just like five items. I got eggs, and then I got like noodles, and then I got um, bananas, and then I got my favorite cake oh and some milk yeah i just got like essentials things that i needed and then now that i'm home i'm just gonna watch like some news some pop culture news um if you watch owami like i watch owami's channel i don't like to watch people who are like um what do, what do they call themselves entertainment bloggers I don't like to watch entertainment bloggers or like follow their pages when they are biased like when you can tell that this person is clearly on one person's side and not reporting on the facts and giving a disclaimer when they're about to give their opinion you know or just making clear that this is my opinion these are not facts but this is what I think but outside of that this is the actual news so this is why I like to watch her because like I like how she thinks but anyway that's not the point so I'm actually about to make some guacamole I had this Evo. I've been having it in my fridge since before I went to Cape Town. So I'm gonna make some guacamole. I don't know why I was thinking about. Yeah, like it's a dip. But I'm gonna make some guacamole. How you make guacamole is basically you just obviously take the Evo out. I'm basically cutting the Evo now. So I'm gonna take the Evo out like with a spoon or whatever. And then I'm gonna just put salt and pepper in it i wonder what it looks like on the inside i'm gonna cry if it's brown okay it's not that brown it's still looking good and then i'm just gonna put some salt and pepper and uh, probably some kind pepper and then i'm gonna use it as a dip for my chips so that's basically what i'm gonna be doing and i also put some eggs boiled some eggs like these are the things that i snack on guys like that this is my life like that is what i snack on chips and guac eggs on the side because i really don't feel like cooking as you can see i'm looking like my day today really had hands it's a monday but i'm just you know keeping my faith strong and not allowing my fears to overpower my faith okay but i just wanted to introduce this vlog to you guys i'm not sure where this vlog is gonna go but you guys know that's how it is that's that's the part of that's the best part of vlogging i also don't know what's about to happen <laughs> and walk like that like he has stepped on so many people's toes and oh my gosh guys wow
hi guys um the last time you guys saw me i don't know what was happening i think i had started a new vlog but now i don't know a couple of days have gone by today saturday yesterday was friday on thursday the pain i was telling you guys about in the previous vlog started again but it wasn't ending and then like late at night around nine i ended up going to the hospital I called um, Luna and I told the girl, I'm not okay, please take me to the hospital. Thank God she was awake. And then she rushed in and we got to the hospital. They put me on a drip. And then the pain basically like went away for the most part. And then we left. And then like we left like 1 a.m. But then when we left and I came home the next morning, I wanted to get the the prescription I was given. And I realized I forgot it at the hospital so i'm about to go get that now and then go get the medication i was prescribed because um, i'm kind of feeling it coming back and the doctor said that it's gastritis so what is it i don't know if i pronounce it in the way that it's supposed to be pronounced but yeah and that that pain came after I've had like really, really spicy noodles. Even the first time I had it when I was at home, I was eating eggs, boiled eggs, but I was eating them with tapana spice. So currently I can't have like spicy foods and I can't have um, like gassy drinks and stuff. So yeah, I just wanna go get the medication and then come back home. Yeah, I just want to sleep and then wake up again, you know, and then hopefully feel better. Then I can get some work in. I woke up at 5 a.m. today. I had to set up a proposal. I sent that proposal through at like 6, 7. And then now I need to get that medication, come back, take the medication, sleep, wake up, feeling better by the grace of God, and then get some more work in. So yeah. It's just like a, it's just um, a bread chain with salami and cheese because obviously I'm not in a state to cook. I need a car the way I walked. It's not okay. Okay, and then I bought, I just bought more bananas. I bought more bananas, um, water, this bread, and I bought myself cake, because I love cake, but I also went to get the medication. I don't know if you guys heard, but the pharmacist said that the painkillers are really strong, so I just want to eat, take the painkillers, take all the meds, and then just. so painful <sighs> and you know what the worst part is I'm alone and I'm sick my family is in Ventura I'm 
obviously don't have a boyfriend here. Well, I don't have a boyfriend, period. Um, I just have to take care of myself. I wanna cry. This is the story of Stephanie Ville, age 34, a mother of two, ages 10 and 3 months old. A very serious disagreement before the incident where Stephanie locked Jamar out of her apartment making him kick down the door. Days after that, things escalated to the in Mercer County Public Schools with success. After completing her studies at Trenton Central High School in Tudor so she could provide for herself and her kids, she was a lively person who enjoyed her life. If you watch Twisted Crimes, I watch Twisted Crimes because they are short. She also enjoyed showing but I've realized a lot of social media. I've realized a lot of the Twisted Crime episodes are just about influencers. She met someone named Jamar Leonard, aged 38. Wow. So. I'm nauseous and the doctor and the pharmacist said the pills will make me nauseous okay so After she had the baby, I got these he was there for her and the baby. I got these what's this and then I got these well this don't oh okay okay I know what she did she only gave them to me for a week I'm like what is this box but they are called Next seat press. I don't know which ones. I'll see which ones are the pink. Are the painkillers? Mm -mm. no, I think these ones are for the acid. In my tummy. And the second one. This one is called Domodol. Yeah, these are the painkillers. Domodol. It says. Take one capsule or two capsules three times a day. I don't know. The pain is at a like a five, six. Okay, and then I'll take I'll take one because she said that they do make you sleeping, and they are very strong painkillers. So I don't know. I think I'm just gonna take two so I can pass out. You know, just sleep. It's cold as hell, but that's not the issue here, guys. Me looking like a Muslim is not the issue. The issue is that I'm in Vintuk and it's cold and I actually need to update you guys. I don't know, my camera is flashing and I hope that I can still update you guys. So the last time you guys saw me, I was actually fighting for my life. Like that day was the start of me stepping into hell. That day, guys, I ended up getting the medication. I came home, I took the medication and I thought that I would be better, but that's not what happened. I ended up actually going things get things became worse so for those of you guys who are familiar with gastritis gastritis is what I have or had I don't know if it's something that stays or goes but right now I'm better obviously as you guys can see but that that's basically what I had and if you've ever had gastritis or if you know or if you've loved or if you have like a close relationship with somebody that is experienced gastritis you know that that's that okay so my camera died but like yeah so um i was just saying that like if you have ever experienced it or if you are close to somebody that has experienced it or if you've even witnessed like if you've been there while somebody's like suffering from gastritis you know that that person looks like they're about to die you know 
so that's what had happened and i was in hell that night i went to the hospital the night the same night i was wearing this jersey was this jersey i was wearing this jersey and then i was um yeah yeah i was wearing this jersey and then that evening the pain started around like 3 p.m and then at 9 when the clock hit 9 p.m and i still wasn't okay i decided no guys like this this can't be it i called a friend of mine Lank let me moisturize my lips guys i look so weird <laughs> i don't look better but it's the cold guys like my lips are blue that's how cold it is in ventuk so just bear with me so basically what happened is i ended up at the hospital and then um when i got there the doctor put me on a drip and when i get it when i get a chance i'll show you guys some of the medication that i got but like yeah the doctor put me on a drip and then the pain like kind of sort of went away but not really actually the pain didn't really go away like it was it was gone and it was gone for like a minute and then it came back again so um that was a that was a was that that was a saturday was it a saturday and then the saturday i was in pain Mm -mm. yeah i'm not sure if i told you guys i also went on the thursday like i went on a thursday that's when the pain started for the first time and then i went to the doctor i went to the hospital and then they basically i think i told you guys but if i didn't i'm i'm gonna cut it out but like yeah uh it started on the thursday i went to the hospital they basically put me on a drop and then it went away on the thursday friday i was good saturday after eating noodles and spicy as noodles that's when it was triggered again because this stuff is triggered by like spicy food gassy uh like yeah food that has like a, lo a lot of acid um in it like um gassy drinks fizzy drinks alcohol like that's the kind of stuff that this 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 i don't know what to call it but this illness doesn't like that kind of stuff so it was triggered by those things and then on the saturday it was triggered by um noodles that i was eating and then i went back was in the hospital it i wasn't getting better and then on the sunday <laughs> On the Sunday, luckily, the friend that I had called to take me to the hospital on that um, Thursday, yeah, a dead friend of mine was uh, traveling to Ventuk. And I said, girl, I, I need to go home. I'm, I'm going to travel with you. So thank God. Like, Luna, ne? Luna, I owe Luna so much. Like, she was even telling me that, like, no, what are friends for? And stuff like that. But I was just like, she was just there for me. And me falling sick really reminded me how, like, living alone is like it can be scary sometimes you know in the sense that like there was nobody there like there was nobody there and it was so scary like i felt like i was gonna die do you get me like it was it was bad like it was really bad if you've had your shredders before you know that like it gets really really bad like you can't stand up you can't sleep at night like it's it's horrible but like i'm better now i'm better now i came back home it's been a week since um today's monday it's been a week i arrived like last week sunday yesterday was sunday so yeah it's been a week and i also have something exciting that i need to tell you guys but um i think at this stage by the time you guys see this i should have already um posted the first video i'm gonna be doing my first paid um uh campaign with a brand that aligns so much with me like if you know me you know i'm a jameson girl like i'm a whiskey girl and even now that i've decided to like obviously now because i'm still i feel like i still need to doctor myself i'm not drinking you know but once i'm able to get back <laughs> you got like i'm not gonna be drinking all the crazy stuff like champagne can really miss me champagne can really really miss me um you guys know i'm a tequila girl i'm a jameson girl like i'm a whiskey girl okay so i'll be partnering with jameson and this is like it aligns so much with me and i'm so glad that like you know when i pray for things like these i always pray that i can collaborate with brands that truly align with me so that i can actually like create content and you know do things in a way that like 
it's organic you know and it's genuine you know and i'm not like forcing content or forcing like a persona that doesn't truly really exist you get me so i'm really excited about that um i'm gonna be having a meeting in a like two hours or so and then after that meeting i cannot figure out my life because i need to figure out on what days i need to go shoot on what days i need to like do my hair like i was just that's there's a lot there's a lot that needs to be done and it can only be done by me and even now that i'm speaking about there's a lot that needs to be done i'm realizing that i have a lengthy to-do list so yeah i just wanted to update you guys because obviously for you guys um it's the next clip but for me it's like a week later since the last clip you know um and yeah so there's there was a lot of ups and downs you know in terms of like me falling ill and i really want to talk about me having gastritis i really really want to talk about it but once i'm able to get through a lot of the stuff you know get through a lot of the stuff that's on my to-do list then i'll be a bit more calm and then i can like sit and talk to you guys about it and also just educate you guys about it because like i had gastritis before but this is like in high school like i think i was like grade 10 i remember and i got so sick i lost so much weight so right now i'm also just trying to eat as much as i can because i do not want to lose weight i already don't have the weight do you understand so <laughs> so yeah guys um me looking like a muslim lady is just because it's mad cold like Bentuk is seriously cold like we are it's giving frozen veggies it's literally giving frozen veggies so yeah um that's basically the tea and i'll talk to you guys later my phone is obviously getting full and i need to transfer this and then charge my camera so that yeah i'm getting a call now bye <laughs> okay guys brand new day same jersey obviously different outfit but like you guys are gonna see this jersey a lot in this vlog because as i mentioned when i came to Ventuk, <laughs> when i came to Ventuk, i was really sick and the way i even packed there like i was just like i need to get out of here but that's not the point the point is that it's a brand new day today we're gonna go get our cornrows done we're gonna go get a wig installed very um cautiously optimistic about <laughs> what the wig is gonna look like um on me but that's that's not the point the point is just that like today is shoot day number one tomorrow is shoot day number two so i'm trying to contact my lash tech actually initially i wasn't going to do my lashes but i'm just thinking girl just get them just get the shit done because yeah my life is a bit it's a bit it's not looking good it looks like a fork Oh my sunscreen is still. I hate it when it does that. It wash done, and you know what? I'm, I'm so uh, about getting the wash done because it is cold. It is so cold. But I'm gonna put this, this hair just like in a, in like a ball or something, and then I hope she calls me back. I'll call her again in five minutes. But like yeah so i just wanted to update you guys it's a brand new day the agenda is for me to get my lashes done at least like i wasn't planning on it i just decided now when i switched on the camera because it actually looks like this and i'm supposed to film it's either i get my lashes done or i get these removed somewhere in town square but yeah so that's what i'm gonna be doing um i'm just busy transferring files to my laptop so that so that i have enough space on my phone um for like you know content and whatnot but yeah guys so let me go it's 10 right now and yeah i'll talk to you guys when i figure out if i'm gonna go do my cornrows or my lashes first okay guys so i just oh my gosh i didn't think this through <laughs> Okay, so I just got to my surprise because I actually don't have anything to wear for the shoot. Where are my lashes, guys? I don't think it will be visible. Um, oh my god. <laughs> my lashes look crazy. 
but like so i got these right why does it look so zoomed in but anyway so i got these pants right and then initially i found these these are really nice they also have pockets but they only have them in a large not your girl's outfit <sighs> this is so crazy but it's fine um yeah they only have them in a large so i'm gonna try it on if it doesn't look good then i'm gonna go for that pants i got them in a medium and also in a in a small because those are the only sizes available i'm getting a cool yeah so it's basically those with this jersey how cute is this jersey guys come on i was like mr price like this is a really cute jersey the girls are yeti yeti but let's see what it looks like on me i got that in a medium <coughs> and in a small <coughs> it's too big like i love it i still love the pants you guys know this is my type of vibe but this pants is gigantic look like it's especially here like this is when i looked at it like this i said hmm, i could still get it but then when i looked at it like this i said no Chill, no so i don't know let me try it on with the jersey still <laughs> this weather this weather i hate it i need to buy a coffee or something but like so i think i'm gonna go with this Guys, I don't think I can vlog right now. Well, I'm gonna probably go for this jersey. This is the size. <laughs> this is the size. No, I actually went trying the bigger one. So this is the pants. This is a size small, by the way. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> the, jer uh, the jersey is the size small. The pants is also the small also the small so this is what the pants looks like it's pretty tight you know and because i'm not gonna be like shooting my feet or anything i really like what this looks like like you guys aren't seeing it like the contrast you guys aren't seeing it but it's giving this this is what it's giving how cute <gasps> super cute eh? super super cute. okay guys so Mm -mm. Oh, okay. This is good. Okay, so I finished the hair. I finished buying everything that I had to buy in Mr. Price. And now we're at Relish. I'm with Ingrid. Hi. Ingrid is going to be helping me shoot today. And yeah, so I'm having a cappuccino. Just having a Coke. And in about 20 minutes or so, we're going to go to to the salon and then start shooting yeah okay guys it is day two yes. of I'm shooting so i'm in pep home right i actually got a couple of stuff let me show you guys so and i'm trying to get glasses for the cocktails right so i really love these even if i don't use them they'll be nice in my place right they're so cute and they're like you can't see yeah they're like 30 bucks so now the issue is i'm like i want to take those and the and plain glasses also so i found these how stunning super cute please tell me why they are nine bucks so cheap you guys should comment which one you guys think that i should take even though by the time you see this i would have already chosen so between this one remember it's it's for whiskey right between that one and this one and this one which one should i take because this one looks like a whiskey glass right i'm good i'm good i'm in between these two so i i, I don't know you guys should come in this one glass glass one glass two glass one glass two also i i also got this i'm gonna use it maybe for lemons just for aesthetics this one is 24 so yeah i think these are all that i'm gonna get and then i'm gonna decide between the glasses yeah i also just found it by chance
I'm sorry, sorry. Are you busy vlogging guys? Yay! Yes. Guys, say hi to my subscribers. Hi guys. Please do the most. <laughs> Comment, like and subscribe. Please. We are here. <laughs> On the road to 5,000. On the road to 5,000. So guys. I feel like when I come to Bernal, I meet a lot of you guys. Like a lot of you guys. But now we need to find the ingredients for the cocktail. You guys can't see. These are like they are so tiny. Maybe I should go to food lovers. Okay. another person you guys must make me feel like a celebrity i must like it yeah you guys must make me feel like a celebrity and i love it so much okay i just need to make sure i have enough money in my account for all these things that are packed in this uh, trolley i just saw another another person oh like literally guys like i uh, um when i'm in Ventu, when i'm in Ventu, there's no way that i go where is there that i go even when i'm in the location like when i'm in the hood nobody recognizes me but as soon as i step out in the city at least one person a day okay 11 no it's 10 56 i'm into I meant to be that side of very delicious around 11 so I'll probably make it and I think I should buy like a bag you know these um, shopping bags because I'm carrying too many things like too many things but let's see and then I need to go to food lovers market for for the men's so we got everything we got everything we just need the mint but this bag looks so weird what is this what is this honey <laughs> what is this i wanted to get you know those big shopping bags but what is this sana okay that's fine photo it's for free mm. it's true but you are not going to get the photo it's for me to keep it's for free most lemons i should have just come here look at how good these lemons look Everybody and their mothers are looking at me, but it's fine. You guys 
know the cake that I like to buy. I want to see if they have it. And if they have it, I want to see if this one is better than the one in Soho. Here it is. Guys, this is my favorite, favorite cake in the world. The strawberry cheesecake. And then I'm going to get this, then we are done. Um, where's the... You, you put it in yourself, but here they put it in for you. How are you? Can I please have this strawberry cheesecake? Yeah. Thank you so much. Enjoy your day. Now we are done. Can I please get a bag also? A bag also. I'll put these things. So guys, I came to buy a snack, a lunch snack at this one is called Rocky Takeaway. It's literally just here in town. This here. So I'm just waiting for my hot dog. A special hot dog. It's called the special hot dog from Angola. <laughs> okay guys, so we're at Fashion Wins and we just need to fix the curls. But how beautiful is this hair? And this is raw hair. We we installed this week yesterday. We curled this week yesterday. I went home. Left. I didn't do anything to preserve the curls, like apply anything or the curls just stayed in. Fashion Winte is pricey but it's good. It's better than to buy five, seven weeks and then those weeks don't even last you two, two years. You just buy a good wig. I'm just gonna save like a good 10k and buy myself like a nice wig. Yeah, it fashion means like even the lace. I went to get this is a I slept and obviously I didn't have a band and I didn't have you know but you guys will see now. Let me show you on the side how good the lace is. Like when you guys ask me where to buy it, like look at this lace. Obviously it's a bit white because your girl didn't sleep with a band but you can see that it's good lace, like it melts into my scalp. Yes. Fashion means baby. You see? So it looks really good. And Senya was saying this color is for me. And I think so too. I think I wanna make this my signature color. Yeah. I need another one. You guys wanna try the long one. And then I need, I need one that's like a 20 inch, like the same length as this one, almost a like 20, 24 inch, cut with layers. Yeah, anyways, I'm talking a lot. Also, I wanted to show you guys the cake that I bought. It tastes so good. Too good. This one. It tastes very, 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 very good. Mm. It tastes exactly like the one from Swako. It's just that the one from Swako, I think they set it for long and then this part is usually harder. But the taste, the flavor, everything is exactly the same. You got some vacation time. You and your girlfriend too bad mine. Bad, bad, bad when you both combine. I don't know why you look so nice. Guy and cut, 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 cut. Mm hmm. So rough. But I just want to let you guys know my first Jameson reel just went live. Please go comment guys, go, go tell them how you guys are going to try out the recipe of the cocktail that I've made. 
Okay guys, so I just I just got done getting ready and I'm gonna go to town now because I don't know if I mentioned it but I'm gonna go get the wig removed um, because I'm also going back home soon because this is like a fashion wings wig this is a fashion wings wig I don't know if I, I think I mentioned it but it's a really good wig guys remember the curls I told you the curls are still this is a really good wig but anyways it's a fashion wings wig but before we do that I want to go to Vernil. I think I'm gonna go to Vernil and I just want to go buy shoes because I just came with you guys know my favorite sandals like the ones that I was I think I even wore them in the Cape Town vlog the previous vlog those ones with the gold stuff I only came with those shoes because like I mentioned I was very very sick and when I was packing I didn't care a damn about nothing so I just want to go buy like shoes you know like closed shoes because it's also really cold and my feet are cold um so yeah I want to do that and then go get the wig removed and then maybe I'll go sit at Baylicious and then like start editing the vlog and planning for my meetings that are coming up oh and tomorrow we are going to uh, Monique spa she she's opening a new spa so i'm gonna go there you know get treatments done like we're gonna do a foot peel because my feet are dry as hell like i don't know there's something about when i come to the my skin just gets dry so we're gonna see how that's gonna help my feet like a foot peel and we're also gonna do like a back massage that's also um on tomorrow's agenda and then on sunday i have a meeting with timey and then on monday i have another meeting another brand meeting so it's a jam-packed couple of days you know but we thank god and also another thing that i just wanted to say was i know i got really excited when i was telling you guys about my video going live um the the real the cocktail reel going live but i think i just wanted to essentially just speak about like guys when you pray and you put in work god really comes through because when you are praying 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 but you're not doing anything then how is god gonna show up in your life do you understand what i'm saying like let's say you're unemployed like me okay you're unemployed like me and you're always praying for god to like you know bless you in ways but then how is god gonna bless you if you're not putting yourself out there if you are not you understand putting yourself in a position to receive a blessing do you get me so i just wanted to you know put that out there and i wanted to just um motivate anybody that's feeling uninspired because if you are unemployed like if you are unemployed and fun employed <laughs> like me you know that like it can get a bit it can get a bit um demotivating a little bit depressing sometimes because you know you don't have that month to month paycheck to rely on you rely on your savings and the gigs that you're able to get if you have a boyfriend lucky you you know but ultimately you're just trying to make ends meet you're hustling okay and i just wanted to motivate somebody that's also in the same position as i am or similar to don't be lazy don't be lazy i know we all get a little bit lazy but it's not going to take you anywhere do you understand put in the work pray and i'm telling you daddy god daddy god he will definitely come through for you so let's just go get these things done that i need to do and then yeah also lastly i just wanted to say guys i'm really i'm i'm i'm, I'm praying about it now and i really want to be one of the content creators that make that open doors for content creators that are going to come after me you know like in the sense of like i want to be like a mislali or a K Yams. and what i mean by that is i want to be able to be a content creator that's solely like making a living off of being a content creator and being paid uh, that's making a living off of being a content creator being able to pay my bills having a sustainable lifestyle because of content creation do you get what i'm saying but like the dream is big the goals are even bigger but anyways without rambling too much let's quickly go so i came to woolies guys and i found literally exactly what i was looking for it was in my mind but i didn't say like i'm gonna come look for this specific shoe but I found these. I think I'm. See, these are the shoes I've been wearing. So annoying. So I got these, and then they are the white ones. And I don't know which ones. I think I feel the uh, black and white more. What do you guys think? And they are going for 400, 400 bucks. I think I'm gonna let me try on these. 
this is my size anyways yeah yes yeah I think this is more my vibe yeah I think the white is also cute but I don't know the white is also really cute. Oops, sorry. I like this though. I think this one <laughs> yeah I, I do want a white shoe but not this one so I think I'm gonna go for this to be back i'm so happy to be back and like i remember i arrived last night by the way when i arrived i was just thinking the last time my apartment saw me i was fighting for my life i was quite literally fighting for my life but we thank god um like i said i arrived like i arrived last night i woke up quite early it's about 9 54 now I woke up at like seven 
and I was just asking myself, girl, why are you up so early? But anyways, I'm up. I'm uh, I'm busy making oats for myself, so I'm gonna have some oats. And now I was thinking, I was thinking that I probably need to go get some stuff. But I don't want to buy like a lot of food and stuff. I'm just gonna go get um milk because I want to make the weight gain smoothies. Because I don't know if you guys can even tell. Like, even if for me personally, when I look at myself, like when I look at my shoulders, I can tell that I've lost weight. Like I have lost so much weight. I don't know if you guys can tell. I don't think you guys are able to tell. Maybe you can tell by my little thighs. My thighs are always little, but they're a lot more. I almost said littler. <laughs> <laughs> they're a lot more tiny uh, but yeah so i just wanna go buy my weight gain smoothie and then i wanna see if i can gain back my weight in a week's time i'm gonna be having oats every morning i'm gonna be having my oats with bananas and then like i'm gonna be having my hyperbolic shake um my hyperbolic is, is it a shake is, I don't know what it is, but I'm, then I'm going to be having my hyperbolic drink and then I'm going to be drinking my smoothie. And also the thing is that because I'm cutting out like spicy food from my, my camera. <laughs> oh my gosh, I was just deleting stuff from my SD card and I feel like I might have deleted important footage. <sighs> Anyways, I was saying that those are the things I'm going to be eating. And because I'm cutting out spicy foods from my... Um, day to day diet uh, am i not yeah because i'm cutting out spicy foods on my day to day diet it's going to be a bit tricky you know like what i'm going to eat is going to be a bit tricky but we'll find a way because yeah i'm not planning on buying a lot of food because the food just gets old guys like even now when i left and i came back there's just so much stuff that just went bad like okay my fridge can just throw an all white party until i buy stuff that i know that i'm going to finish within that period of time like i'm i'm done wasting food like i'm done buying food just for like when our parents used to buy like monthly groceries i think when you move out you think that that's how you should do things but you are forgetting that your parents were buying monthly groceries for a bunch of kids probably a husband maybe a cousin that was living with y'all like do you understand what i'm saying so that monthly groceries thing guys out the window unless you are actually like somebody's wife and somebody's mother and you actually have people that you need to take care of you get me but when you're living alone i would suggest you buy weekly groceries you just buy what you need child. you just buy what you need because you actually end up wasting so much um food i even want to buy bread right but i'm thinking where can i buy half bread if it was in dolam i would find half bread here in the shops like in like spa or food lovers or pick and pay like or or, or checkers <clears throat> i've never seen half bread y'all need to start selling half bread because a bitch can't eat the loaf a bitch can't eat the loaf but i've been talking a lot right now so i'm busy making um oats like i told you guys and i'm also supposed to do laundry today but we'll see how that goes um we're also gonna clean because oh sorry guys i'm on my period and it's 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 yeah so we're also gonna clean a bit because obviously i was sick before i left and my house was in a state still in that state as we speak so i want to clean up a bit wash some stuff if i can i want to see if the sun is going to come out today and yeah it's already going for 10 o'clock and the sun is not out so i don't think the sun is going to come out today but we'll see how that goes and i also want to go check if the line is open and i am rambling so i'll talk to you guys later oh, ow, 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 ow. <laughs>
cleaning like at the point where you guys maybe saw me saw me making some tea what was happening i had already ate like i ate oats and and bananas and then now i went to go pick up my order i didn't pick it up they delivered it um i just bought like what was it a quarter a quarter like chicken and then like two snack burgers from steers and i'm about to eat maybe the snack burger or something i don't think i can stomach everything else and then yeah i'm also about to make tea again honestly guys i want to be rooibos i want to be a rooibos tea because wow she's amazing honestly like what so yeah guys that's basically it i'm just closing off this vlog for the day tomorrow morning at nine i'm gonna go do my nails See, it's about eight now can you guys see even yeah it's about eight um so yeah tomorrow we're gonna go do my nails because my nails are growing out really really well like really well and i think this is a perfect time come on now hmm i think this is the perfect time for me to go get them done and not wait until they actually look like crazy you know so they're growing out really well so i'm just gonna go get a refill but like obviously change the vibe you know you guys really love this set i love this set too but it's time for some change and i need to keep you guys's nail inspo up to date okay so we're gonna go do my nails and then we're probably gonna close off this vlog and then start another vlog okay because i just submitted my video my second video for for jameson and you guys haven't even seen this vlog where i submitted the first one so i need to finish up upload this one before the second one comes out so by the time you guys are seeing this you're expecting my second jameson video so go comment on the first jameson video and be like i love this cocktail and then you say four plus four equals what eight then i'll know you came from youtube and then on the second video I'll tell you guys what to say on the second vlog. Do you understand? We're almost following one and never. <laughs> Anyways, guys, uh, I don't have. Uh, also, you guys might have seen a clip where I showed like a, a guy, like a YouTuber. Honestly, guys, like I just decided I was just on my on my on my YouTube for you page, and I was like, let me just watch. A namibian youtuber's video like a random namibian youtuber a youtuber that is like 
under 2,000 subscribers and that guy I think he has like a thousand subscribers and guys I don't know how old that guy is yeah but I watched his video and I took such good information from his video and that's why I'm plugging you guys with him I'm gonna put his handle here if i don't put the handle here i'll definitely link the video in the description box but he the reason why i'm speaking on this is because he gave a really important message just about like how to man i don't even know how to describe the advice that he gave but it was just such good advice about believing in yourself and then putting in the work and then trusting yourself you get me so i said that's 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 some food for thought right there and if you need something to inspire you just some words of inspiration and encouragement i dare you to go watch that vlog and i don't know any um male namibian youtubers there's also another reason why i'm plugging you guys because i really want to um inspire you guys and motivate you guys who are namibian youtubers or who are thinking about becoming namibian youtubers to open a channel and start vlogging because we actually need to grow the youtube industry in namibia because currently it's non-existent okay we do we all know that there are namibian youtubers that people like but in the sense of like as a, from a youtuber's perspective youtube is dead in namibia we don't have youtube events we don't have you know like youtube connect events that type of thing like we don't have a community as like youtubers in namibia so we need to do that we definitely need to do that and we can only do that if more of you guys jump on the bandwagon you get me so yeah without saying too much i just want to say good night guys i'll talk to you guys tomorrow when we go do our nails okay and a last kiss to this beautiful beautiful gorgeous set i really had an amazing day my crush called me today we had such a good conversation and honestly like what more can a girl ask for Ugh. i've just reached a point in my life guys where there's no man that's unattainable to me and i don't mean that by like just getting the man to talk to me or whatever in the sense of like if i see somebody and i like what i see a bit when i engage with that person that person is definitely gonna like me back like if i meet you and i and i'm like okay i like what i see and i like what i feel then you're definitely gonna like me back like it's not even a joke guys this is something that really happens to me if i decide that hmm, i like it he's definitely gonna like me back and he's liking me back like why is he calling me oh my gosh like so freaking annoying uh, uh. <laughs>